and check out this piece of artwork. It's actually a sample of a slide. It's one of the examples of what a public school teacher used to purchase with some grant money to help learning in the classroom. That grant was made possible by the nonprofit Public Schools of Hawaii Foundation, which is dedicated to improving education. The foundation gives what it calls good idea grants to teachers and schools for our innovative instructional ideas. And joining us this morning is teacher from Mililani High School, Claire Guerin. She's on the end there. And right here to my right is Iris Okawa. She's the president of the Public Schools of Hawaii Foundation. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. And thank you so much for joining us. It's great to talk about some positive news in education. And this morning, uh, Iris, why don't you talk about what the foundation is and your big mission? Our big mission is really to provide private support for public school education in the classroom so that the teachers are aided. And also, we really want to celebrate outstanding high school graduates by our annual fundraiser. And this year, we celebrated Alan Ikao of Big Island Candies, Daniel Lau of Finance Factors and Harry Saunders of Castle and Cook, all public school graduates and leading tremendous companies in Hawaii. And so you're giving out these grants uh, to teachers in the classroom. How many grants are you giving out and, and why is this money so important for those teachers? Since 1986, the Public Schools of Hawaii Foundation has given over $3 million to teachers in the classroom. This year we're looking at somewhere between $250,000 and $3,000. It's amazing what teachers need and don't get. Um, they need computer tools to keep students relevant in the 21st century to help spur critical thinking. And Claire's project was one of those that combined basic tools such as books, mm -hmm. but she's combining it with a level of technology to heighten her level of reaching and delivering education to the students. And Claire, uh, you got a grant. How much did you get? And, and uh, what are some of the examples of the things that you purchased? And we actually have some of them right sure. here. Sure. I got $3,000 from the grant. Um, mm -hmm. And it was enough to purchase 200 art pieces, um, so digital slides. Um, and those will be available to me my entire career, so mm -hmm. that's great. And this um, is an example of one thing that you And this is actually an example of a work by Anne Kapulani Landgraf that is not in my digital slide collection, but because I also um, was given a document camera with this grant, I can find an art book that has something that isn't in my connection, uh, collection and I can show it. So this, um, paint, this photograph right here sparked a very long discussion in one of my classes, and I was able to bring it into the classroom and show it through that document mm -hmm. camera. I got a projector. Um, I got um, 15 of these art books so that um, all of the um, art history and uh, language arts teachers involved in um, American history and American literature can um, look at it and talk about uh, what paintings we might mm -hmm. want to include in, in the classroom. Now, you know, we've heard so much negative about what's been happening uh, in our public education system. Uh, furlough Fridays, which really impacted a lot of teachers and a lot of students. You have budget cuts. Uh, how is this grant really impacting you and, and has it made a difference during these difficult times? It has made a difference. Um, in the first half of the year, I really did let the furloughs um, negatively impact the, um, the inclusion of, of special, um, very uh, motivating and engaging curriculum like the um, art in the classroom um, because I felt like I couldn't afford to bring it in. Um, but then I realized that, in fact, um, in looking at the performance of students in the prior year, um, when I did have the grant and was incorporating it fully, mm -hmm. um, the students performed better. So um, I did start to include it in the, in the second half of the year. And um, it sustained me and it will sustain me in the future to have these resources that can make something special in the classroom. Um, the students are very engaged by art. They um, are comfortable speaking about images and I can help them to build their analytical skills and then translate that to books. All right. Well, Claire, thank you so much for joining us. Claire Guerin from Mililani High School and Iris Okawa with the Public Schools of Hawaii Foundation. Thank you, ladies, for all the great work that you do.